what is happening? So what are we doing? We are going to show you how to scan a denture on the 8200 3D as a DICOM, and then from the CS 3D imaging software, be able to export that denture as an STL file. So it's going from a DICOM to an STL file from the CS 3D imaging software. So how do we do it? So first of all, you need to go into the object scanning mode or model scanning mode. And the interface is going to look like this once you open it up. There's three options. You can actually have the uh, scanning a model, scanning an impression, or scanning a denture. And this is going to be scanning it and then being able to open it up in the CS3D imaging software as a DICOM file. So this is what it looks like when we put on the cone beam. Here's a little bit uh, closer look. And you're going to scan it and then open it up right in the CS3D imaging software. So here's our denture. We can see that here. There's a little bit of metal in it in this particular example. That's OK. This is just a little demonstration. Um, you don't see the denture in the 3D rendering uh, immediately unless you wanted to. You can actually use this little display palette and move these little triangles over all the way to the left. And then your denture begins to come out and be revealed. Um, you don't even need to do that for this particular application. You can leave it hidden as the 3D rendering. And all you're going to do is go down to your export tab, select this little drop down triangle, go to uh, export scanned object, and then select it. That takes you here. You are going to need the CBCT to STL converter license for this. So if you don't have it, ask your rep or your dealer. You can choose the output folder. And this is the density threshold. But I would recommend to leave it kind of at the, the default. Um, if you try to make it too dense all the way to the left, it does look kind of, um, doesn't look very good when you export it as an STL file. You can rename it. We're going to name it Denture Scan and then just select Export. And then here's our exported STL file. Double click. It should launch our Mesh Viewer software. And you can see your fully exported denture from DICOM to STL. Hope this helps.